The Sokol Aircraft Plant in Nizhny Novgorod has a rich history that dates back to its establishment in 1932. For over nine decades, Aviation Plant No. 21, which was originally named after Sergo Ordzonikidze, has been one of Russia's leading aerospace enterprises. The facility's construction began in 1929 and concluded in just 21 months. The I-5 biplane fighter was the starting point for aircraft production. Production then progressed to the renowned I-16, MiG fighters, and other notable aircraft, including the La-5 and La-7 during World War II. Throughout its history, Sokol has manufactured more than 43,000 aircraft, with approximately 13,500 of them being combat aircraft. Most of these are from the MiG family, including the MiG-21, MiG-25, and MiG-31. Sokol is a critical component of Russia's aerospace sector and has consistently implemented technological innovations, such as incorporating titanium and high-strength steel into aircraft structures. The Sokol aircraft plant faced major challenges after the end of the Cold War. Global geopolitical shifts caused a significant reduction in orders for frontline combat aircraft. To secure new revenue beyond military contracts, Sokol implemented a diversification strategy. This included gradually expanding into civil aviation projects, such as supporting regional and commercial aviation markets and producing components for civilian aircraft. Sokol expanded its production of assemblies for civilian aircraft, including the Ilyushin Il-114 regional turboprop and the MC-21 medium-haul airliner. It used its expertise in aerospace engineering, precision manufacturing, and advanced materials. This expansion stabilized the plant's economy and positioned it as a contributor to Russia's efforts to modernize its civil aviation fleet. It also reduced reliance on foreign suppliers. Sokol's competitiveness is evident in its investment in automated assembly lines and 3D printing casting centers. Beyond aviation, Sokol explored opportunities in consumer and industrial products. It leveraged its expertise to create precision-engineered products for various sectors. Despite diversification, the plant preserved its core strength in fighter aircraft production. It continues to manufacture modern versions of MiG fighters, such as the advanced MiG-35 multi-role jet. This combines its historical legacy with modern aerospace innovation. Sokol's dual focus maintains its strategic significance in national defense while adapting to changing market demands. This balanced approach ensures the plant remains a key part of Russian aerospace manufacturing. It supports both military and civilian aviation progress. The post-Cold War changes shaped Sokol's future by keeping it viable and advancing technologies needed for programs such as the Ilyushin Il-114-300 and the MC-21. The Ilyushin Il-114-300 is a modernized version of the original Il-114 turboprop. It is intended for regional routes with improved fuel efficiency, modern avionics, and stronger performance. This aircraft is designed to replace aging regional fleets in Russia and abroad. It features state-of-the-art systems, an efficient power plant, and enhanced cabin comfort that meets modern standards. Sokol plays a central role in the serial production of the Ilyushin Il-114-300. The facility is expanding with 12 new production sites dedicated to IL-1, 14-300 assemblies, and MC-21-310 parts. It has established a new competence center for casting production with advanced furnaces, heat treatment facilities, and 3D printers. This center supports the scale-up of the Il-1-14-300, the MC-21, and the 2214. Sokol is also installing Russia's first automated riveting complex to improve quality and speed while reducing reliance on foreign technology. Currently, two IL-114-300 prototypes are undergoing certification tests. They have already completed more than 120 flights in the first half of 2025. Certification is expected in December 2025, 
with serial deliveries starting in spring 2026. In summary, Sokol is responsible for every stage of the Aleutian Il 114-300 program. This includes advanced facilities, new production technologies, and support for testing and certification. It reflects Sokol's broader role as a historic aerospace leader that adapts to modern civil aviation while ensuring Russia's independence in aircraft manufacturing. The Ilyushin Il-114-300 is central to these efforts, marking a new era in regional aviation fueled by innovative Russian manufacturing. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.